Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, this is your number one chance to hit the subscribe button. All right, so uh, subscribing is as easy as clicking a button, so please do it to encourage me to make more videos. Okay, so let's continue here and we want to add this text on our slider. We want to be able to edit this text from the customizer here. So to do that, we'll replicate the same process we've been doing here, but with text instead. So what I want to do is add a text field below each one of these images. Now the text field should be two because we have two different text here. There's the title and there's the other text down here. So let's see how that will look like. Let's start with the uh, image slider one. So we will go to our um, functions.php right in the customize uh, add action customize register and uh, right after this part yes right after the active uh, activate actually not there let me add this to anyway the thing is as long as we start with the adding the settings we can always add all the controls later by themselves so let, let's try and do it that way instead i'm going to copy the setting here so i'm just going to call these ones um image text settings so i'll paste this one and let me make a duplication of this so this one is razor slider image text yeah this can get pretty long slider image text one that way it's very unique so the type is theme mode theme mode of course the default value is um empty or uh mm, actually let's leave it at empty there this is all good we can do the default values on the other side not here so let's leave that default and yeah this is fine so that's one setting gone and let's uh, just duplicate this a couple of times so since we're going to need oh by the way there's a slider text let me change the image to um header text one because remember that we have header text and content text so slider content text one okay so header and content so we're going to replicate this two more times so that we can make all the settings for the other ones as well so i'm just going to do a replication here let's say uh, number one so let's replicate that. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Let me move this. Two, three. Yes. So that's number two and number three. Mm -hmm. So all we need to change here are the numbers. That's it. So two and three. Good. So we have header text, header text there. And that's it. Okay, cool. So now that we have these settings, we can now add the actual controls. So we have a setting and a control here, but the control we want is the one with text. Where is that? This one we have hidden down here. I'll copy that. Now these are to be very specific because I want to add them right after the image control here. I want to add those here as well so to follow the order so i need to know the setting id that i'm dealing with and that setting id is right here razor slider let's start with the header so i just need to change that number at the end wait a second what's happening oh there we go right here boom add one and uh, the type is text good uh, the label should be um, image one header text like so 
Now we don't really need a uh, description here. This just uh, make things too long there. So we can remove uh, this one. It's self-explanatory, I think, unless otherwise. Let's remove this tile. Placeholder here could be this. Now, maybe we don't need the label if we have a placeholder. That's entirely up to you. You can decide to remove the label if you want and just leave the placeholder to save space in case you have too much going on there. And also, please remember that you still have the option to put only one image in this section and then put more options about that image. For example, the title text, this, and maybe there are buttons here, what the buttons should say. If you have a lot of things going on per image, then it would be a good idea to just have one image here uh, and all its options. And then once you go back to the other side, you have the next image and uh, all its options. But because it's not so much, we can put all of them in one section. So what I mean is you can create several sections if you want, one section per image, uh, if there's too much information to display. So um, this is okay. Yep, it is okay. And let's go down here now. Let me duplicate the same thing. And all I need to change is the content here. Content, text one, and same here. I can just say content. But I may want to use a text area here, actually. So let's see how that will look like. Now, if I close this, Oh, what did I do? I should have just gone back. Looky there. Anyway, back to customize. And let's look at this. So there we go. So we have activate, deactivate, slider image one, header text, and uh, image content two, uh, the content here. So this is what I was talking about. Um, there's this and there's that. So it's kind of a repetition. So you might want to remove the labels if you are not too keen on seeing uh, repeated info. However, this may be good if there's content here, then at least it has a header for you. Uh, same thing there. But that's entirely up to you what you want to do. Let's see how it looks like without the... Let's refresh. Leave the page, yes. Uh, do not restore autosave. No, no, no slider images and this is how it is so you have that you have the image header text i think people are smart enough to figure out where that text actually goes so i think this is okay and uh, so from this we've removed our labels and uh, let us say uh, duplicate this or replicate copy and let's do the same thing on uh, this one. Just after its control, I will paste and change the numbers to two, just like that. That's it. And we go to the last one. Now we can remove this uh, text thingy. We don't need this sample anymore because we've got what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Change that to three. Oops, three, three, and that's it. Oh, I still need to change these guys. Image three, image three, image uh, two. Wait, wait, what is going on? What have I done here? Uh, this is the header. Okay, that's the control, that's fine. Uh, this one should be two because there's a two there. Same thing here. Okay, so that should do it. So let's refresh again. Let's see what we have. And I'm going to click slider image setting. And there we go. So image one has that and that. Image two has that and that. Image three has that and that. Okay, so we are good actually. But we won't see the changes here unless we actually add the code to do so in the slider. So. I will go to, this is how we get our settings. So I'm going to copy that and um, let's come down here and see. 
So first of all, uh, this image one has this section for the title and this section for the rest of the text. So not difficult to see how to do things here. We're just going to add some PHP tags. That way we have both um, the header and slider header text. Let's do that, header underscore text. Then we get the theme mode. Let me copy this. Actually, header text is in this. Let's be consistent. Yeah, so this is one, so I'll put one there. If there's nothing, this is where we can put a default value. So I want to get this first slide label. So copy that and let me put that here. That's what will be returned if as a default value if nothing exists here. So I'm going to duplicate this and change every change this to content because that's a setting name. And then the first content here is, um, yep, that's what it is. So that what will be the default value. Cool. Okay, so this one is content, good. Instead of header here, let's put content. Aha, uh -huh. right. And now I can simply echo this right here. So I will do this with an equal sign and close. Same thing here, I will do that. I don't even know why I was copying from the front, front end when I had the text here all along. Anyway, that's what it is. <clears throat> yeah, same thing here, second label, some representation for second slide. Yeah, that's our text. So this is just a repeat of everything. So if I come back here and refresh the page, let's see what we've got. It's number one and the text is gone. Mm -hmm. womp, womp, womp. This is not cool at all. Mm -hmm. Not good at all. So what's happening? Um, razor, sharp, slider, header, text one. Does that exist? Maybe it does. Maybe I did save something and uh, it was empty. Hmm. Let's see, number one, number two. Yeah, that isn't so good. So what I would do is, let me copy this for the second. I want to make sure that um, I, uh, it's not an error. So I'll paste that and uh, this, Default text should simply change to second here and second here as well. And that's it. Then I can remove both of these, change those to two, and let's see what happens. Let's go to image settings. Yeah, so I get nothing here as well, which is not cool at all. So what's happening? I need to know what's going on here. So I'm just going to echo this right here. I'm just going to echo that. And let's see what I get. In fact, not echo. Let me do a var dump because it will show me the um, data type as well so let's refresh and let's see what's going on let's go number two yeah so there we go it's string is zero hmm so there is something there hmm so i may have saved this which is uh, tragic yeah okay that sucks so what i would do instead is let's add the um, 
maybe we add it here instead on the default value let's add those things here mm. unfortunately we have to resort to uh, barbaric ways okay so let's start with these settings here default value let's put it there oh actually i know what's going on when you read if you put the default value here that's what you get on the other side Ooh. we learn we learn i've never really uh, paid much attention to this anyway let's uh, get these default values out of here so let's put this one on the header here this is number one and let's put this one here as well where is that uh, slider and get this one out save here and let's put that there so that maybe it reads that instead so let's try again maybe hope this time okay good that's much better so same thing we will do with uh, the second one where are we on the slider so second one here out Come to function here, uh, header text, and uh, same thing on the some representative second. Let's put that here. Okay, so I can predict what we can put here is a third, and let's get also the. Um, oops, where is the default value? What am I doing here? We need a default for this, which is here. Copy that, put it here, and say third. Then come back to slider here, and let's copy what we have. Let me remove this. We don't need this var dump. Uh, yes, let me squeeze that in and copy these too. And down here, let me paste and change the numbers to three and then remove these two bad boys. Okay, very nice. So now if I refresh, we are good to go. So let's give it a test run, shall we? So here, first slide label. Oh, very cool. So we have those in there as well. Yeah, so this was a better way of doing it. Okay, so first slide label, we can change that to this is a test test. There we go. So as you can see, it changes there. And um, let's add two at the end here just to see if the text will change. And there it is. So as you can see, that's how things work. Let's just add a two here, two there. slider two yeah two there two there let's add a three there and a three there okay so if i go here i will see three three publish and that's it so we can add some more meaningful text there if we want but this is how you can customize these things so if i now refresh on the main page you see that i have the customized version of things here as well Okay, so hopefully this was uh, useful information on how to allow customization for your users of your uh, WordPress theme. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.